Welcome again friends. So in this session we are going to discuss integral exponents of a real number. So what does it mean? So it means integral exponent. So we learned in the previous section that a to the power b if it is given. So b is your exponent, isn't it? Exponent. And a happens to be your base. Okay. So base raised to the power exponent and we are trying to work our work um, on these kind of numbers now we are going to deal with a special case here where b is a b is an integer b is an integer okay so b is an integer like what like let us say 3 0 minus 1 2 minus 7 and so on and so forth and b is not equal to numbers like 0 0.1 root 2 etc okay so b is an integer b is an integer now when b is an integer there are three possibilities one is so one is when b is greater than zero b is when b is greater than zero this is case one when second is when b is equal to zero and third one is we are going to discuss when b is less than zero okay now if b is greater than zero then a can be any real number a can be any real number any real number right so when b is greater than 0 a can be any real number which is not true for this now when b is less than 0 then we have to take some precautions why because by definition you will see uh, b less than 0 case we have to be little cautious in terms of uh, in terms of a so a in this case cannot be 0 okay so we'll see once we define and b equals to 0 we again have a definition where a to the power b in this case that is a to the power 0 is defined as 1 okay so please remember if b is greater than 0 a can be any real number if b is less than 0 then a cannot be 0 okay why because uh, uh, after some time when we'll discuss what exactly it means when b is less than 0 then it will become much clearer to you now b greater than 0 so you know what to do if b is let us take this case case number 1 so in case number 1 b greater than 0 so a is any real number so a to the power b is nothing but a into a into a how many times we do it b times this is for a is equal a b greater than 0 and a is a real number now for example 3 to the power uh, 2 will be equal to 3 into 3 2 times 2.5 to the power 3 will be equal to 2.5 into 2.5 into 2.5 3 times then let us say 4 by 7 to the power 4 will be equal to 4 by 7 into 4 by 7 into 4 by 7 into 4 by 7 okay now in the second case in the second case when b is equal to 0 right this case was b greater than, first case was b greater than 0 second case is b equals to 0 in this case by definition any real number but 0 so a to the power 0 will always be equal to 1 mind you a should not be equal to 0 in this case also why because 0 to the power 0 is not defined is not defined okay please remember 0 to the power 0 is not defined isn't it so this is not defined and so for uh, for example 2.3 to the power 0 is 1 4 by 6 to the power 0 is equal to 1 minus 2 to the power 0 is also equal to 1 right and third case is third case is what b is less than 0 again a in this case cannot be 0. A can be any real number but 0. Why? Because by definition A by B if B is less than 0 is given by 1 upon A to the power minus B. Right? So hence if you see here A is in the denominator. So the denominator denominator cannot be 0 ever. Cannot be 0 because dividing by 0 is not allowed. It's not defined. So hence example let us say 3 to the power minus 2 will be equal to nothing but 1 upon 3 to the power minus of minus 2 which is nothing but 1 upon 3 square right minus of minus 2 see minus b i have to put a minus sign in b 
Similarly, 2.5 to the power, let us say, minus 7 is equal to 1 upon 2.5 to the power 7. Okay. And let us say 5 point or 5 by 3 to the power minus 4 is equal to 1 upon 5 by 3 to the power 4. Okay. So by definition, you can see by cross multiplying multiplication, you can also see 2.5 to the power 7 can be also expressed as 1 upon 2.5 to the power minus 7 correct here also if you see this is nothing but 5 upon 3 to the power 4 if you cross multiply you will get what 1 upon 5 upon 3 to the power minus 4 so if there is a negative sign you want to make it positive you have to reciprocate the entire stuff so let's take an example so another example to show you so 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power minus 3 will be equal to what? 2 to the power 3 into 1 by 2 to the power 3. Isn't it? And this will be equal to 1. Okay, so this is an example. So please keep in mind. So what did we learn? We learned that a to the power p is defined for positive integers b. Sorry, integers b, where b can be greater than 0, b can be is equal to 0, and b can be less than 0 as well. But uh, a in the last two cases, that is, when b is 0 and less b is less than 0, then a cannot be 0. So please be careful about it. Okay. So when b is greater than 0, then if a is 0, then is 0 to the power anything, let us say 7, is also 0. So here there is no problem. But 0 to the power 0 is not defined. So please remember, not defined not defined and 1 upon 0 to the power or rather 0 to the power any negative number let us say let us say 0 to the power minus 7 is not defined not defined right sorry is not defined so please please take keep this in your mind in the next session we will go ahead and understand what the laws of exponents